Hi and welcome to Gadget Guru, a very special show. We showed you a preview last week of some of our adventures in Berlin. Today, the full-fledged Berlin adventure continues. So what do we have for you from Berlin? A lot, actually. The world's thinnest notebook, debatable, yes. An actual tablet PC that can do what no other tablet PC can ever do. A gaming rig on steroids, the cutest product we've seen in years. And even more importantly, I'll try and destroy a notebook right there in Berlin. Let's see if I can succeed. But before we do all of that, I said it was an adventure. Before we actually start on our adventure, it's time to take a look at all the news from the world of technology. ASUS has launched the stylish mini PDA, the P320, in the country. The P320 boasts an ultra-compact, slim body with rounded curves and a circular navigation key and is targeted at fashion-conscious customers. Weighing around 105 grams and measuring 99mm by 54.5mm by 13.35mm, this PDA comes with a 2.6-inch TFT touchscreen with 240 by 320 pixels resolution, a 2-megapixel camera and 128MB flash memory plus 64MB DDR RAM. It runs on the Microsoft Windows Mobile 6.0 one professional platform and packs features such as GPS navigation and Edge GPRS and Wi-Fi for internet access. Say that you should be really careful even when you are wiping your notebook with a soft piece of cloth because it could scratch it. Now this, like I said, is steel wool. What am I going to do? I'm going to wipe this notebook clean. Now watch this. It should be completely and totally scratched to little bits. There should be literally nothing left of the shiny glossy part. I'm going to use all my force. It's actually gliding off and this is real steel wool. I'm not making it up. This is serious steel wool. It's not happening. This is where HP is taking things to a completely new level. Now this is their new business notebook. It's a big risk that they're taking. This is anodized aluminium with a coating on it, scratch proof. You saw it with steel wool, practically anything we could take. Even a pen and try and scratch it is not going to happen. So the new business notebooks from HP. Why am I saying they're taking a risk? Because they're actually breaking from norm. There's supposed to be a rule, a cardinal sin, that you don't change around business notebooks. They look ugly, they look clunky, they're built like tanks, they work like tanks, and they want them to look ugly as tanks also. Corporates, enterprise, organizations, business, they don't want it good looking, they don't want it sleek and dynamic. They just want uniformity. But HP says, We'll give you robust products and that are also very good looking. So this one, huge amount of things in it. We'll give you a short review of it. But remember, absolutely no way for me to scratch it. The HP EliteBook 6930P notebook takes its inspiration and design from aircraft construction and engineering. It boasts of meeting the military standards MIL STD 810F for vibration, dust, humidity, altitude and also high temperatures and thus has features such as spill resistant keyboards, shock mounted hard drives and comes with a rugged design which provides for maximum durability. Powered by Intel Core 2 Duo 9000 mobile processors and weighing 2.1 kilograms, this brushed outer shell notebook has a 14.1 inch Illumini light LED widescreen display with a 2 megapixel webcam doubling up as a business card reader as well. EliteBook 6930P incorporates a variety of communications and networking options as well as HSPA mobile broadband module, 802.11a, b and g Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But once again, maybe repeat, it's really the first ever business notebook that doesn't look staid and boring. Good one, HP. It's really the fusion of form, nice form factors, of excellent design using technologies from other industries like the fashion industry and uh, as well the functionality. I love really shiny things, the bling, the blang, things that really have a unique luster. 
So which is why I think what HP is now doing with their consumer notebooks is very interesting. It's a trend that they've been trying to follow this whole euphoria of HP becomes a design leader. Now they've come up with these consumer notebooks that are a real pleasure to look at. Liquid metal. It's really an imprint design but it looks like it's made out of a kind of glistening, flowing motion of liquid metal. Lots more fantastic screens. Again, uh, fingerprint uh, security, Blu-ray, HDMI out, a subwoofer, there's something called magic chrome. When you switch off the notebook, this entire area just looks like a piece of chrome. Actually, there are buttons inside each of them. So, great amount of these. This is the big one. It has pretty much everything that you want. There are smaller versions, but all of them have this beautiful luster. And I really love them. The tablet PC, the digitizer, it's a, it's a very cool product. I've always loved it. The fact that you can have a normal, proper notebook and then you just twist the screen around and you've got a tablet PC. But it's been a cool product with one very uncool problem and that is the active digitizer. See how this works. Even if I don't touch the screen, just the presence of the digitizer means that the screen is aware that it has to move up and down. I can actually open, for instance, let's say if I would want Windows Journal, I open it straight and it actually opens now. I can, of course, write on this. Right? But what happens if you leave this at home? What happens if you lose this? It's absolutely useless. Not anymore because now HP has made this digitizer ready and finger ready. I've never seen this before ever. See? I can actually do everything that the digitizer can do. So you can do more things with this, but you can still do a great amount of things with just your finger. So HP, one more thing that you've made that's made it even more cool.